Hello everyone, I am Manish Pandey and welcome back to the UiPath Agentic Automation video series. So far, we have been talking about the concepts like Agentic Automation, Agentic AI, Agents, Types of Agents, Large Language Model, Machine Learning and Generative AI. But before actually creating our own agents, we first need to understand one important things and what is that that is uipath studio wave why because uipath studio wave is that place where we design build and test our automations so let's start understanding the uipath studio first let me show you something important here if you click on this early adopter agents then you see one message where it says that agent development has been moved to studio so that is studio means uipath studio wave so please migrate your early adopter projects. So means if you have created already, you have to move that agents to the UiPath Studio. You see here, uh, migrated by October or will be deleted. Earlier this was called as a agent builder. Now if you click on this build your agent now, then this will redirect you to the UiPath Studio where you can build an agent from there. And this is UiPath Studio. You can access it by clicking on this and you see this studio. In this video, we'll explore UiPath Studio Wave interface step by step. We'll understand each and everything. And finally, we'll also create a small demo using RPA workflow to get the hands-on experience. Because before creating an agent, you should have the knowledge of UiPath Studio Wave and how to create an agents, how to create a RP workflow, those things. Because later on, once you'll, you know, go into the advance, then you need to do all these things. Here you see two tabs, first workspace and second templates. In the workspace, here you'll see all the projects that is created here. You'll see the status, when it was created, who is the owner, what type of content it has, the edited and so if it is in the draft you'll see the draft if it is deployed you'll see the published or deployed like that you'll see the status and here you'll see the project name second we have templates these are the pre built template provided by UiPath here we can use autopilot to generate your projects you see this is automation means these are RPA workflow if you see agentic process so this template is for agentic process Whatever you want to use, you can use that and modify as per your need. Now you see install locally means if you click on that, it will allow you to redirect to another page where you can download UiPath Studio or some other UiPath platform products. Here you see one button create new. When you will click on create new, you will see multiple options. It says that start building a project choose how you would like to begin so we'll click on create it means you are going to create a project so what type of projects you are going to create so we have five to six options here agentic process agent rpa workflow api workflow app if you'll click on this drop down you'll see two more options solution which is in the preview and then one option that is import let's understand these one by one First, agentic process. Agentic process basically is used to orchestrate end-to-end -end process with the agents, robots, like RP workflow and others. We'll cover agentic process when we'll start creating the agents and then we'll start using the agentic process. For now, we are going to only understand how to create RP workflow and overview of UiPath Studio. Second, we have agent. So this is where you design your digital walker that is powered by LLM means here you can create an agent. You can build an agent. Now RPA workflow. This gives you an option to create RPA workflow, robotics process automations, API workflow. This is in preview. This helps you connect with external systems using API means you can easily create an API workflow here. Fifth, that is app. Here you can use this app functionality, this app project to 
build a low code apps for the decision approvals or for the dashboard or for form submission so you can create an uipath apps in uipath studio you will already have learned how to create a uipath apps but here in the studio also we have an option we can create uipath app now this is solution this is also one type of a container where you can group multiple agents rpa workflows and processes together and called a solution and the last that is import so if you already have a project created and you have a stored locally or somewhere if you want to import that from other systems then you can import it it will allow you to import only .uip file extension or .uis now here you see you just need to understand these icons as well this is agentic process this which has the settings this gear icon which shows that this is rpa workflow means this is automation projects this is s for solutions if you create an agent as well if you mouse over on this it says that this is an agent so this and this both are like an agent so icon s here but if you click on this agentic process so there the icon will be something like a stars will be there on that box right uh, we can talk about that later okay this is for app where we have this activities like this options so this is uipath apps this is api workflow where we have two arrows one going up and one going down now it's time to create an rpa workflow so let's start practically for that we'll click on create new first we'll start with rpa workflow once we'll click on this it will give you a, another workspace it will redirect to another work here where you see rpa workflow and then the first workflow that is main you see in uipa studio there is a main.xml now what we are going to create here we are going to create on automations here which will say hello uipa studio web first understand this interface here you see the workflow name that we just now created rpa workflow 1 earlier we had workflow rpa workflow now this is another project so automatically it has taken rpa workflow 1 if we create one more time so it will be rpa workflow 2 like that now it has by default one main xml file here you see an option to go to the projects if you click on that it will allow you to go directly go back go back to this projects so we just now created this rpa workflow 1 we had earlier rpa workflow so let's open this now here left side you see this folder icon which is open project explorer so this is basically a project explorer we have this project name and then inside that we have main xml file so we can create multi multiple workflow by clicking on this plus button and from here from the explorer itself you can create an activity you can create a workflow file second we have open issue panel so if you click on that it will open the issue panel so this is issue panel what is that issue panel so if you'll we'll create any project uh, any activity or anything if you'll we'll have any issue in your project you will see that error here issues in current file click on that and you see here value for required activity arguments message was not supplied here now see this is change history so if you change anything in your project you will see the version right side you see there is an option submit as a template so if you want to submit this rp automation workflow as a template so you can do it but for that you have to fix this and then you can uh, this will be available to submit okay now you see there is no error there is no issue here then you can submit this as a template put your that template name description and then create that another option we have share so if we we'll click on share this will allow you to share this project this automation with your teammates with your colleagues got it by just clicking on this you need to enter your email id your friend's email id your team email id and then you can share that when sharing a project you are only sharing the automation private information such as connections is not shared got it now we have this settings which is basically a property panel there are two options here canvas view and 
panel view. If you click on canvas view, means this will be details will be available in this canvas itself. This is called canvas. Here you see that. Okay. Now if you click on this panel view, so this details will be available here in the panel itself, properties panel. Now this is data manager. So now I think you know all these creating variables and uh, arguments, those are now moved to this data manager itself. So you can access this is like suitcase icon where you can access variables, arguments, entities, connections. You can create, edit, delete those things. You can do it from here. Third, that is output. So if you start running your project, debugging that project, you will see the output here. And the last, that is watches. Here you can watch your variables value or expressions value while debugging. Got it? Okay, so now we'll start with first automation, RP automation called Hello World. For that, we'll go to this project explorer and our project name is RPA Explorer. We'll change that to Hello World. For that, we'll click on this, right click and click rename. And we'll say RPA workflow underscore Hello World. Got it? Now this has been changed. You see here the updated name. This is a trigger, manual trigger means manually you will run this automation. There is no schedule here. What I want to do, I want to show a log message which will say hello UI Pass Studio Wave. That's it. For that, we'll click on this plus which will allow you to add an activity. Then you need to search for an activity, whatever you need. So I need log message. I will search for that. And this is a part of control, right? Now I want to show hello UiPath Studio Wave. So there are two options. Either I can update directly from the canvas view here itself or by going to the property panel, that is panel view. So if if I use it this one then i need to click on this canvas view and then i can directly write it here now one more thing do not use double quotes here just say hello ui path studio web only this one now select a label or leave empty for an info if you want to just select info just leave as it is if you want to run this so here we have an option debug on cloud or debug a step by step. If you want to debug a step by step, we have an option here. There are a few more options we have. Do you want to debug this on local machine or do you want to set, uh, configure this debug option? I want to debug on the cloud itself. Let's click on debug on cloud. Now once you click on debug on cloud, then you see three options. Stop, resume, let me run one more time stop continue and next step got it stop continue and next step these three options you get once you'll click on debug on cloud now let's see the output here you see debug session initializing transferring the project download completed restoring the nuget packages and packages restored okay these things is done here now after that the actual process started rpa workflow hello world execution has started so these are things that you can uncheck, uh, you can remove it from here and whatever you want to see, you can just main things, you can see it from here. So we have an option to filter by severity. Okay, so I want to just see uh, only error, fatal, warning or info. I can go with that. So you see, this is started and then message I can see, hello UiPath Studio Wave and then execution ended. And now this is saved. You can publish this. Let's click on publish. Now you can choose here the location where you want to publish that. You want to publish to your personal workspace or to the tenant. I want to publish this to the personal workspace and select the version. So currently this is the phrase new automation. So it's 1.0.0. Let's publish it. Okay, so this has been published now. Let's go back to this project and you'll see here, this is the automation workflow that we created, the RPA workflow and the status is deployed. 
This small demo proves that your UiPath Studio Babe is working fine and you are ready to design more advanced workflow and you can you are ready to create an agents and agentic process. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching this video.